Jamaica College in Kingston, Herbert Morrison Technical in Montego Bay, will host the two first meets of 2017 on January 7th. And of course, at JC, it will be the Pure Water JC Danny Williams development meet. And at Herbert Morrison in Montego Bay, it will be the first chance meet. Noel, we expect another competitive championships this year. Boys and girls champs, March 28 to April 1. Tell us about some of the girls' teams and the boys' teams that we expect to challenge for championship honors this year. First of all, I'm really excited about the new track and field season that is on this year, and I'm expecting a lot of great performances. Some of the teams that we can look forward to are the usual suspects, you know, Edwin Allen, uh, Homewood Technical, Heidel, and St. Diego High School to battle out for top honors. On the boys' side, you know, we have Calabar High School, uh, Kingston College, Jamaica College and St. Diego High is there as well. Stets is doing pretty well. And those are the schools that I expect to battle out for, for the championship. And it's going to be pretty exciting. Even though every year you have athletes leaving and athletes uh, stepping up to the plate, that, that's what makes Champs uh, a very uh, nice spectacle. It's going over 100 years now and it's exciting every year. And we can look forward to great action from some exciting talent. Noel just spoke about talents and what we expect from our top junior athletes this year. Just take us through some of those athletes, Noel, you know, not, I know there are a lot of athletes, many, many athletes from right across Jamaica, from, you know, the many schools that will be competing at Champs. But just let, just let us note and talk about the, 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 the main ones that would have shone brightly last year and we expect them to do well this year again. Yes, due to time constraint, you know, we, we, we couldn't name out all the athletes and things. So we don't want anyone to think that there's any bias going on and things. But we're just going to name a few of the top athletes that we expect a lot from this year. And they include Christopher Taylor of Calabar, Dijo Russell also of Calabar, Tyreek Wilson and Michael Stevens. Uh, from Kingston College, we have Javon Matheson. Nathaniel Ban is coming uh, back from injury. You know, he's injured in his first year in class one last year. I spoke to him at the Excelsior Wesley Memorial Meet and uh, Wesley Powell Memorial Meet. And he says that he's, he's ready this year. And also the injury prone Dontre Williams, he's coming back as well. On the girls' side, you know, you have Kimon Shaw from St. Diego High and Joanna Reed as well. She's doing well. Kevona Davis from Edwin Allen. Patrice Moody is returning. You know, she got a medal at the World Under-20 Championships. So there's a lot of athletes that we expect uh, um, a lot from, but those are just a few that you should look out for. Rem remember those names. Mm -hmm. Let's give you a rundown of the other meets scheduled to take place during the month of January. Charlie Fuller Manchester High Field Events Meet, Douglas Forest Invitational, J. Trace Puma Kirkvine Meet. All those meets will be on January 14. On January 21st, Howard Jackson Relays, North Central Development Meet, Central Hurdles and Relays, Big Shot Invitational, McKinley Wint Invitational, and Hurdles Fest and Relays. The 28th of January, St. Elizabeth Technical Invitational, Queen's Grace Jackson Track Meet, and on the 29th of this month, January, will be the High Mountain 10K and the Veronica Campbell Brown 5K. And of course, that Veronica Campbell Brown meet started last year in Hayes Clarendon at Vera Technical High School, and that's going to be the venue again this year. So until you hear from us next time, stay tuned to trackalerts.com and trackalerts TV on YouTube for the latest news, videos, race highlights, interviews, photos. Stay tuned to trackalerts.com and trackalerts TV.